What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today we're going to be looking at some of the new iOS 7 tweaks that are in development right now and will be available once the official iOS 7 jailbreak is released. Now the first one that we're going to be looking at is actually a tweak that you can download right now in Cydia for iOS 6 and it's called Video Pane by Ryan Petrich, which allows you to actually minimize a video in almost all video players and keep it in the foreground while you continue using your device. It's obviously great for multitasking and Ryan actually posted this screenshot on Twitter showing you guys that he has indeed gotten the tweak to work on iOS 7 on his iPhone 4 so we should be looking forward to that. Now next up we have a brand new tweak that was posted to Reddit by Eswick and shows an OS X like multitasking interface with apps opened as different windows. And you can see the multiple desktops up at the top that you'll easily be able to switch between. And I'm sure you'll be able to move around the windows and position them accordingly however you want them. But Eswick actually hasn't given a whole lot of details on this other than posting this screenshot. Now it was just a single screenshot to tease us with and he said it should be available early 2014 and be available for iOS 6 and iOS 7. And lastly we get a sneak peek at the new Spring to Mize 3 and if you're not familiar with Spring to Mize and Spring to Mize 2 it allows you to basically change and customize everything on iOS from the number of icons on your springboard, in your dock, adding cover flow effect to your icons in the dock and changing animation speeds, changing icon sizes, and there's so much more. And the developer, Filippo Bigarella, says that the development of Spring to Mize 3 is still in its early stages, but he has published a screenshot as a sneak peek. And you can see here, now not only is there a cover flow effect on the dock, but you can also see it on the springboard icon. So that's something new that Spring to Mize and Spring to Mize 2 actually don't have. Now it's too early to talk about the release date and pricing, but Bigarella says don't worry, you won't be disappointed about pricing. And just as a platform to compare it to, Spring to Mize 2 is available in Cydia for $2.99, which is definitely worth the price for everything that it does. So there's definitely a whole lot of cool stuff that's coming to iOS 7, and the developers are really hard at work trying to get stuff out there for that iOS 7 jailbreak when it's officially released. So hopefully we can look forward to a lot of awesome stuff in the next coming months. Let me know what you guys think about these tweaks and which one do you actually like the best. Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.